Well, hi there. It's time for another episode of Snake Inspiration with me, Cameron Young. Um, today's question is, what is the world's smallest snake? It's a really, really, really good question because most people think snakes are these big, frightening things. And for the most part, snakes are not that big. Yes, we do have giant snakes, but for the most part, they just aren't that big. But the smallest snakes, they're just plain tiny, tiny. Um, it's cold as can be here in Colorado. The high today was only about six degrees, and tonight's low is gonna be about a negative 11. And goodness gracious, it's not snake weather at all, but at least we have some snake inspiration and we get to talk about snakes. So is this the world's smallest snake? No, actually, this is a baby of the world's largest snake. Um, so I chose to have a baby reticulated python with me to talk about the world's smallest snakes, which are the thread snakes that occur in the islands of the Caribbean. Thread snakes. Well, that's kind of interesting. Yeah, literally about this long and the diameter of a piece of spaghetti. Thin spaghetti. Holy smokes, that is a tiny little snake. How does that thing even find anything to eat? Well, they eat termites and, ant and baby ants, like ant larvae. Um, and so they'll, 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 some of them will just live in a termite mound and get, just gorge themselves. Um, and others will eat, um, will follow ant trails till they find um, the, the nest and go from ant nest to ant nest eating the ant larvae. So brought in the largest snake of the world to talk about the smallest snake. Um, largest snake is a reticulated python. I can't remember if I, if I told you that. So, um... What is it about small snakes? You would think that if, if you have a snake that's this big, the babies would be only this big, and how is that baby going to eat an ant? Well, it's not true. Ba small snakes lay big eggs and have big babies. So, in relative to this snake. So, look, this is a reticulated python. It's about two feet long. An adult reticulated python is 20 feet long. 20 feet long. So, it's one-tenth of the size of an adult snake. The babies for big snakes are about one-tenth the size of the adults. Now for those little tiny thread snakes, those babies are about half the size of the adult. So they're big babies relative to the adults. Big babies, so you have a baby this big, that's big enough to eat a small ant larva, big enough to eat a termite larva, big enough to eat whatever the adults are eating, because the adults are only this big. This snake cannot eat a pig. So there's a diet change in large snakes also as well, which is kind of a cool thing to think, think about. So little snakes have big babies. Big giant snakes have tiny babies, but also what they're eating changes throughout their life. This will eat birds and small mammals, and as an adult eat pigs and large primates and a termite they eat the termite eaters the thread snakes um also will eat the eat the same thing as a baby to an adult now something to think about that you may have actually seen a thread snake and didn't even think it didn't know it another common name for them is flower pot snake and they've been transport transformed tr transported all over the world because of this because they will live in a flower pot pot where they're eating ant eggs or there might be termites, a little piece of wood in there, and termites might be in there. Snake, the now, now there's thread snakes in Hawaii, and I used to tell people that Hawaii was snake free, and it's not. There's thread snakes there. Um, they have flower pot snakes, um, another name for them. They're traveled all over the world, so next time you're at Home Depot, if, you're, if your flowers originated from the Caribbean or from, from Florida, you might have a flower pot snake in there, and it's just going to look like a little worm, and you're not even going to realize it's a snake. A lot of people don't realize they're a snake. They're, they, they have, they're almost blind. They just have, they have skin right over their eyes. There's those little tiny spots that, that represent eyes. Um, and then they have completely different jaw structure, and, and, and eating, and the morphology of their mouths for eating is completely different than that of any other snake, and that they're just designed for basically engulfing soft prey. Just, you know, just eating those ant larvae as fast as they can. Um, completely different from this snake, which has to have its skull and jaw morphology to completely stretch out and expand to eat something different. But, eh, eating is a completely different story. We're not going to get to that today. Today's question was, what is the world's smallest snake? And it's a flower pot snake that gets 
just four inches long would be a big one for the smallest species. Now some flower pot snakes can get to eight to 10 inches long. But remember, the smaller the snake, chances are relative to the body size of the adult, the babies are bigger. This is the world's largest snake, tiny baby, only 10% of the, of the adult size. And a flower pot snake or a thread snake, the babies are 50% of that adult size. Just a little interesting fact for you to be snake inspired about and tell your friends um, that snakes are cool. Snakes are some of the most interesting and amazing creatures in the world. Just think if we didn't have those thread snakes eating up those termite larvae, how we might be overrun by termites. We already overrun by, by ants, we know that. Ants outnumber humans on this planet. Out, ants outweigh humans on this planet, if you think about it that way. Outweigh us. So if we measured all the humans, weighed all the humans and weighed all the ants, the ants are going to weigh more. So just a fascinating little, little thing that these, there's snakes that have evolved to that's what they eat, is ant larvae and termites. So with that, we'll end snake inspiration. Hopefully you're snake inspired to tell your friends. Um, and don't forget to subscribe to, to, subscribe to, to either me on YouTube or the, or the Center for Snake Conservation's um, CSC Snake Channel. Um, either way, so these, both, these are both, we're publishing um, snake inspiration videos there. And follow us on Facebook, Twitter, anywhere you can. Um, just keep on going and keep on let's be snake inspired and tell the world about these amazing, amazing creatures. Thanks and have a great evening.